So again, uh, this is Markus Lover speaking. I'm the managing director here at Nofts uh, Technologies. Uh, and I'm uh, pretty happy uh, to start here uh, today with Nikita Porokin, uh, who talk about our UTP suite. So I hand over to Nikita and uh, please enjoy our uh, first webcast to this series. Thanks. Yes, uh, thank you, Marcus. Um, first of all, welcome to our webcast for the UTP suite, uh, the modern test software solution. My name is Nikita Prarekin. I'm certified LabVIEW architect, and I will be your host today together with Marcus. Uh, my team and I have developed the UTP suite, so please stay tuned to learn all the information from the first hands from the developers. Today, we want to show you our software platform, the UTP suite. And we want to demonstrate how you can use it in your project successfully. At the end of the presentation, we will have uh, the Q&A session. So please uh, put and write your questions in the chat window and the Q&A section of this meeting. We will be, answer we'll be happy to answer your questions after the presentation. And the goal of this presentation is to get you familiar with our UTP suite. Um, I said the goal that at the end of the presentation, you will understand and know the UTP suite in details, what it does and how you can use it in your projects. So let's get started. We've put up uh, the slogan, uh, speed up your development in, in this invitation and in this uh, presentation. I want to ask you a question. Why do we need to speed up? And uh, the answer based on our experience is the following. The modern requirements are very demanding and our industry has a number of challenges. Every CEO, every project manager, every engineer, we all face in them every day. The products are complex and they are increasing, the complexity increasing. They are highly customizable. So they have very different variations. Um, the data, the test data and everything uh, needs to be uh, stored in a central location and in, 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 in needs to be converted into big data. So we have a number of challenges here. We also must deal with the variety of hardware platforms that we work uh, with and also variety of vendors. So every vendor has its own uh, style of, of working. So we need to also be able to integrate those things. Of course, uh, there's another uh, important uh, factor is short time to market factor. We need to always speed up and bring the products quicker to the market. While we all do this, we don't need to forget about the customers and the maintenance and support. And those pressure factors are actually uh, pretty uh, hard to, um, to, uh, to solve. And we think, um, these are very challenging things and we have the answer to these challenges and the solution to this is the NOFTS UTP suite as we as, as, as I want to explain you why it can be so true. So first of all, UTP is the short form of the universal testing platform. It's, it's the platform that we use at NOFTS for validation and production testing starting from R&D, spreading beyond end of line testing. And every system here on the slide has an, and runs on the same software platform, which we call UTP Suite. And this makes the development operation and maintenance much easier. So basically every machine here runs on the same software. And the software that we have developed and that we will be talking today finds its uh, place in different branches, automotive, transportation, consumer electronics, telecommunication. And this is actually our answer to those challenges. So, so far we've talked about the problems that we have, uh, all of us, and possible solution, the UTP suite. So now I think it's perfect time to talk about the UTP suite, what it is, what it has to offer, and this will be our the main topic uh, of our presentation today. And so let me start with a simple slide. So first of all, UTP Suite is an add-on for an iTest and an iLabVIEW. Uh, 
I'm assuming that you know what it is in, in what an eye testant is and an eye lab view is. If you don't know what it is, um, an eye testant is a widely accepted test executive software, or in other words, a sequencer. And this is the major software solution in our industry. So every testing platform runs, mostly uses uh, an eye testant. And an eye lab view, this is a graphical programming language from an eye that engineers use to program test steps and functions. And the word add-on here is very is very important because UDP suite works on top of an eye testant and on top of lab view. And it doesn't make you dependent on it. So we don't uh, rewrite test and in LabVIEW. We just add the functionality and fill in the gaps in the standard uh, software develop delivery. And um, yeah, it makes you uh, flexible. It doesn't bring you any um, difficulties in the backward compatibility. And this is really an uh, important slide. So um, now I'm glad that you have seen this slide. Um, now we will go into the de details of the UTP suite and I will explain why, why it is so cool. So uh, first of all, NOFT's UTP suite is a collection of tools. Uh, each icon that you see here on the slide represents an application or a framework or API or documentation part and UTP suite works together. So all pieces, um, uh, are um, are doing some some amount of work in this world. Um, it is standardized solution for operators, test engineers, and maintenance. So every person at factory or in production or uh, in the development can find uh, the, the beauty of UTP suite and the power. Um, of course, as I said, it's based on the night test and then the night lab view also on .NET, which makes it expandable. So if you know all this or one of those tools, you can expand it. If you don't want to expand it or you don't want to program, you can easily customize it. We have a bunch of configuration files that defines how the system works and how the system looks like. And of course, it has a modern look and feel. So uh, your operators will be happy to see the beautiful user interfaces. So now you know what the UTP suite in general is. It's a collection of tools for an eye test and an eye lab view. Now we are going to go through each of the application and the framework uh, that you can see here um, as an icons. And we'll start up with the UTP dashboard. And the UTP dashboard is the first app that you see when you start using the UTP suite. It's a welcome screen and it gives you the quick access to all UTP suite apps and serves you as a starting point to perform any UTP suite related action. You can start testing from this window, you can go to debug mode and so on. So you can see here um, icons. Um, another, um, another aspect of the dashboard is that it constantly monitors your system health. Um, it checks for temperatures, and uh, CPU performance. So you can always uh, look at the dashboard and see if your system behaves normally or you need to uh, worry about your, um, maybe your hard drive is full. Um, also, it provides easy integration. So every application here can be configured and, and um, um, even translate it and you can put your own applications here. We delivered is already with pre-configured uh, um, icons, but you can also change that. And one of the also important and coolest things about this, it's uh, we have a support uh, section where we put the team viewer support for quicker um, uh, support. Also, we can use uh, solutions from Cisco or from other vendors. And um, this is essentially the UTP dashboard software. Um, it runs in full screen. It provides you the entry point for all the UTP suite applications. Now let's jump to from the dashboard. Now, now let's jump to the uh, UTP TF. And TF is our the main user interface for running testing. Uh, TF is a short form of uh, test and execution front end. The first highlight of this uh, software is that it's configurable. So um, we can configure almost everything, and this is done not by uh, this is done by changing the configuration files. The next uh, highlight of the software is that uh, with UTPTF you can test your products 
in parallel, absolutely independent, or as a batch. So you put your products, they will be tested as one batch. Um, also, TF supports multi-language. In our world, uh, it's very important um, that you can translate your um, interface using language files. Um, another good thing is that uh, TF is different from other operator interfaces or sequences. Uh, we have simplified the product selection. Um, so operator doesn't have to select the product uh, sequence test file. Instead, it selects the product using uh, the drop back, drop, uh, drop uh, down a menu, or the product selection can go from PLC or from other external um, system or from conveyor line. And this is very unique. So the operator doesn't have to worry about which, um, uh, which file to load. Also for developers, we have integrated the debug mode where you can just, uh, if, you, if you know the password, you can activate debug mode and then you can uh, go to single, uh, single steps and repeat them or jump over. And one of the coolest things about the UTPTF is that everything that you see on the screen, uh, whether it's uh, images or messages or the colors, everything is um, going from from the API which you have access to. So if you need to change the color or if you need to change another, if you need to show another uh, image, you can always do it from your sequence file. And this is actually it for the UTPTF. Now you know how it looks like, and I think uh, we can now see uh, the short demonstration of those two products, UTP dashboard and UTPTF. So. This is the UTP dashboard. Uh, we need to log in. Um, we um, log in, and as you see here, we have some applications: IO viewer, log viewer, system link, night test, and and a support section. And we start UTPTF, and we want to test our products. So we log in, and then um, as you see here. Uh, we are logged in as administrator. We have a production mode. This is our product that we want to test. We have only one and the variant. And then let's start it. So we click on the start button and the system starts testing four sockets, so four product in batch mode. Of course, it's a simple demonstration, um, but in reality, this looks like this. And TF supports many, many socket system. You can have 16 sockets or single sockets and, um, this is it. So basically, you've now seen how the dashboard works and how TF works. And uh, I want to congratulate you. So you know two, uh, two products now. Um, you probably also noticed the word uh, variant uh, that we selected the product and the variant. I want to talk about the variants uh, now. So variant editor is another member of uh, UTP suite. And the variant editor is the application to manage product variations. Uh, what we understand under this product variations. So um, your product or device under test may have uh, different modifications. For example, different firmware needs to be loaded for a different market, or maybe the color needs to be different, or the connectors are placed from, from the other angle. And while the product is the same, and you, by using variant editor, you can just use the same uh, test sequence and just add variations to this. What you can do with this? First, you can you can manage test phases. For example, for one variant, you can skip the uh, maybe RF test or maybe skip some audio test because this variant doesn't have those th things. Or you can you can use always pass to maybe uh, um, test your golden samples. Also, of course, because it's variant editor, you can change the test limits. For example, voltage limits or uh, DMM uh, levels that are accepted. Um, you can also change the variables, uh, the global variables. For example, also uh, supply voltage can be changed if you have a different variant. Um, once you um, defined your uh, variants, you, you store this in the file and this allows you to send it to the database or keep it under version control. And this is a great uh, place. So then you can just load the new file and you have your variant editor uh, lim limits applied. And you can also do this on the remote machine, not necessary, do, uh, you don't have to do it on the same machine where your test, uh, tests are performed. So, this is the variant editor in the nutshell. So you know 
this is how it looks like, and this is what you can do with it. Um, so now I want to have a, ask you another question. So a variant is great and everything is good, but what should we do with the test results? So we have your tests, we, we have our tests, we have our uh, variant variants, but what we should do with the test results? And the answer for that question is the data viewer. The data viewer is another member of the UTP suite, and this is the application that once installed, it records automatically all your test results in a database. Um, and what it does as well, after it records, you can use search uh, criteria for narrowing down your results and looking for a specific result or maybe a group of results. For example, you can use serial number or you can look for, for some properties of your DT of run properties, where it was run, when, and so on. Um, not only you can search for specific results, but you can also analyze quality and yield. So you can actually understand how your system performs and what are the most failing steps, for example. Another cool aspect of the UTP data viewer is that you can perform process capability. Uh, we calculate uh, minimum values, maximum values for your results, standard deviations, CP and CPK values. This will help you to optimize your process in the production. And of course, we can also support uh, uh, measurement system analysis, where you want to make sure that your system is actually testing and producing uh, trustable results so you can trust them. And of course, after that, if you, if, you, if you are not happy with the functionality or you want to analyze it in a bigger scale, you can always export the uh, recorded results and then use Excel sheet or other uh, anal analytic uh, tools to do this. And so this is data viewer in a nutshell. We've quickly covered uh, variant editor and UTP data viewer. So now let's see them in action, how they work. And uh, let's start the variant editor from the dashboard. And we will add, uh, we'll start by adding the new variant. We'll call it V2. This is a variant two of the product. And now we're gonna go and change the limits of one step. So we send, uh, set it to from minus five to five. So this variant requires that. We also add a new variant. And then for example, here, we also change the, uh, the limits and we can also manage the test phase. We say always fail, for example. We save that and it's immediately available in TF. We go to TF and we see our V2. Let's select that. Uh, we run it only once and then we will see results. All right, uh, now we can see that the, the limits were applied. We have minus five and five. Okay, now let's jump to the data viewer. We'll start the data viewer from the dashboard and we, we see our the latest test runs that we have. Uh, on the left, we have a bunch of filters that we can use to narrow down uh, the search criteria. Uh, we select uh, different operations, operators, and stations, and we see some results. Then we can open the single run and see the results of each test step. And then we can also further it down and then we can limit display by, by using the filter. So if we want to see numeric limit tests, we can see that here. If we want to see multiple runs, we can do it with the same manner. We select many runs and then we can export it or just see how it was run in the sequence. Of course, we can now um, let's um, we can now see the statistics of the steps and uh, steps yield report. We selected, uh, I think it's it's 600 uh, runs and we see that, OK, this is this is our step and we can also go inside and check single runs. We can see the limits in the graph and the time that it took to execute. And from that window, we can also open the report again. Um, and a few words about the process capability report. As you can see here, we have only two steps and we calculate CP and CPK value. And this is in a nutshell, the demonstration of our variant editor and the data viewer. Um, yeah, well done. Uh, thank you for uh, for staying with me here. Um, I think we're now reaching the point where we need to discuss the hardware because each test run and each uh, 
hardware test uh, requires some hardware. Uh, so let's talk about this and what we have in the UTP suite in this um, to solve this problem. So UTP IO package is our solution to the hardware abstraction uh, problem. Um, as I said in the beginning, we have a variety of hardware platforms, we have a variety of vendors, and the UTP suite is the member of the uh, UTP package is the member of the UTP suite that solves this problem. It contains three uh, main members. Um, one is IO configurator, another is IO viewer, and the third one is IO API. So what it is, IO configurator is um, is the application that you use to define your hardware types, their parameters, uh, ranges. And also what is important, you give it a relevant system name. So you, you just create an alias and this will represent your signal rather than uh, some cryptic uh, connector connection thing. Uh, then you store it in the file and this represents your hardware setup. Once you store it in the file, you can use IO viewer to open up this file and interact with your hardware live. You can open up the runtime panels, you can set the voltage, you can measure DMM, and this all works with different different vendors, whether it's uh, power supplies from national instruments or from other components from other vendors. We have here a lot of plugins to support different uh, vendors, and this is really a nice single IO viewer application where you can communicate with each uh, power supply or maybe uh, analog input uh, card. And the last member is the IO API. This is the uh, more relevant for developers. Um, with this API, you can actually programmatically get your DMAP measurements or set your matrix card, uh, control relays, and do whatever you want to do with your hardware. Um, API is for developers, of course. Um, and we claim that IO package is not just a hardware abstraction layer, it's more than just uh, another hardware abstraction layer. And we think it's true because we have added also the plugin architecture on top, and we have simulation mode where you can simulate devices that are not present in your system. We also support remote debug capabilities and many, many other cool things. And this is our IO package. This is our, uh, yeah, more than just another hardware abstraction layer. Um, and now I think this is now the, the crucial moment. We will see on the next slide how all these pieces works together. So this is uh, the technical slide. Don't worry. I will I will go go through this. Um, so first is we start with the drivers layer. So uh, we have some devices from national instruments from other vendors, and we use IO package to abstract them into resources. We go to the next level where we have hardware abstraction layer, and then we categorize them into DMMs, switches, scopes, PLCs, power supplies, and so on. And then once they are abstracted, we go to the measurement abstraction layer. This is where we make uh, different measurement tasks out of it, or we combine them into multiple resources or channels, and then we can work with this uh, using the API uh, for communication or for digital IO and so on. Then we go to the test uh, test layer, and this is where UTP suite plays also the major role together with an eye test. And we write um, different tests for RF measurements, for uh, boundary scan, for wireless audio, and so on. And once we have those tests, this is a layer that uh, we were showing today in the details. We have a TF for running the sequences that we have. We have a variant editor for managing variants. We have a data viewer to store and log results and see them, analyze them, export them. IO configurator, the, um, the thing that manages these things, and the IO viewer for debug and also doing and configuring your hardware without programming. And this is the UTP suite world. On top of that, we have a UTP dashboard that is the entry point for that. Um, and the new thing that we have added uh, just recently is a nice system link support. This also expands UTP suite to the level that we're now here on the system level and uh, we deliver 
or you can have multiple systems running UTP suite and they all communicate with a system link. This will give you the ability to update your software to see the results in a single place and so on and so forth. And yeah, well, this is it. Um, we have just uh, learned the UTP suite basics. Um, in the previous, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, almost yeah, like almost almost 25, 25 minutes, minutes, we have covered many topics. So now I think it's time for uh, the Q and A session. I see Marcus here is is waiting for questions, and yeah. uh, let's jump to the questions. Thank so, you. Thank you very much. Uh, it was great your presentation, uh, Nikita. And so we have uh, some questions. I put some questions here in our Q and A. I hope uh, you can you can see this. And uh, so uh, the first question came up was: Are the filters case sensitive, or can I use free text in Data Viewer? Uh, can you explain this shortly, uh, Nikita? Yeah. So um, at the moment. Uh, it is. Um, it's hard to. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I cannot answer this question uh, exactly, but um, the first part because I don't remember is it case sensitive or not. Um, but I think um, we will make it uh, configurable so we can use both case sensitive and normal search. Um, the next part of the question is, can I use a free text and data viewer? Yes, we have the idea of test properties for 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 each run or for each DUT, you can add your free um, text that will somehow um, make it uh, searchable. So we can say, this is my run with a golden sample, or this is my run with a test firmware or, or so on. And then you can use this as a search parameter. So, yeah, this is this. I think the answer to the question. Okay, um, thank you, thank you very much. By the way, uh, when you type in further questions in the chat uh, and um, um, send this to us, then we can uh, put this here in uh, in the Q and A session. So please type in your questions, and then we try to answer this. And for sure, also uh, we we get in touch with you later on uh, for some specific answers to your needs. But the next question from uh, also uh, somebody was, uh, can I change the TF logo on the on the top or change pictures from the DOT in the in the left side in the TF? Mm. And so uh, can I modify the GUI elements uh, on my own, um, Nikita? What, yes. What tell there on on that sto uh, that story? Yeah. So TF, as I said, is highly customizable. Some things are very easy to customize. For example, TF logo. We have a uh, configuration section where you just provide the path to your logo, and yes, it's just a single single change, and you can change that. Restart TF and will be shown the new logo. Um, the picture for the DUT. This is something that comes from your uh, sequence. Uh, when you have a uh, when you write the product sequence and you have a function which says show product image, you just call this function in the beginning and then um, the uh, the image that you provided as an input will be shown in this left uh, place. Um, another cool aspect of the UTPTF is that the layout, how those um, elements where they are, uh, whether we have a menu on the left or on the right or other things, this is all configurable through the layout files. Those layout files are XML files that you can change and then you can have a flexible layout. So basically you can um, reconfigure TF to have it a different uh, style, how it looks like. Um, yeah, um, we develop also other GUI elements on demand and just add them to the library. Okay, perfect. Thank you again, Nikita. There uh, just uh, another question came in. So do I need to use the IO package in the UTP suite or can I use uh, also use my existing hardware code modules or step types? It's a very good question. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. Thank you for this question. From yeah, I think it's, it's a really good. Good. Uh, good question is and the answer is, of course, yes. So um, IO package is um, is the plugin plugin based um, hardware abstraction layer, um, and you can either um, 
write your sequences that some of the hardware that is supported is run by UTP IO package and other other hardware can work uh, using just a visa or instrument drivers or uh, step types. This is all your decision. Um, and uh, moreover, uh, we can also provide the way how you can also integrate it into this um, into the IO package. So you can actually uh, write your own plugin that will be hooked up and then it will be uh, configurable and also will be available in the viewer and the and API. So this is a great question. And uh, at the moment we have uh, 30 different libraries, different plugins for different vendors. It's, it's a big list and we're constantly working on bringing more. And uh, the, the cool thing about IO package, it's not, it's not the EV driver or something. It's um, it's very ex expandable ecosystem on different types. Uh, we have code readers, PLC variables, everything that you typically find in this uh, validation or end of line testing equipment. So that's this was a good question. Thank you. Again, great. Thanks, Nikita. And uh, it's it's also very important when you have different kind of instrument drivers like PLC, also if it's National Instruments, Roden Schwartz and Keyside, whatever instrument we have, uh, for sure you can also write your own uh, um, I.O. Um, driver and uh, integrate that as a plug-in into the I.O. package. Uh, yeah, so or you can use it just uh, it's just a very close to it, so there is no limitation on that. That, that's right, and that is very important because also the I.O. package has an additional functionality in terms of error management and some other cool features. Yeah, simulations and then recovery and all the things. Yeah, that's right. So then also, Nikita, another question in terms of uh, integration into other databases, uh, for instance, eTurk, and we talked about system link to do these uh, uh, test system uh, statistic and process control. But uh, also we as a system integrator, we do a lot of uh, um, integration into ma uh, manufacturing exchange databases or into SAP, MySAP for production or Oracle database or ETAC. So how is the setup there and what uh, uh, tools you use uh, to integrate this into databases of the customer uh, needs? Yes, uh, so we have uh, the idea of UTP suite plugins uh, and this is the, in this case, this is a plugin for test end, uh, which also closely works with the data viewer. So not only we write in our own local database for just a simple analysis, but also uh, we develop the specific uh, ITAC, plug ITAC plugin that will also work um, in parallel to the existing plugins and will also um, write it to local database and at the same time to write it to ETAC. Um, sometimes or most of the times this is a project specific work, but this is something that also nicely integrates with our standard tools and uh, for big customers, we can even make uh, nicely installers and documentation how this all work as a product. So that's also a good question and uh, thank you for, for raising it. All right, then uh, and first of all, thank you for all this good question. We like it to have this interaction together with you in this live event. Uh, there is another question, uh, Nikita. So testing is continuously evolving with new features. That's 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 correct. And by the way, uh, not just using testing since uh, testing was not even on the market. It was a code name Nighthawk in the early beginning. And so uh, yes, testing is evolving every time. And, and for example, improvements in the sequence editor, that's clear. Is anything blocking me to use them, although I use the UDP suite as an add-on? Yeah, this is, a per this is a perfect, perfect question. And thank you for raising it. I think uh, it's, it's really a good, uh, a good question. The answer is no. Luckily, nothing is blocking you from using, uh, using UDP suite. Uh, because it's an add-on and um, of course we use uh, the technology from from national instruments um, and um, they're called uh, model plugins and I think that this technology is available from test and 2012 uh, if I write and and this means that IOPAC uh, UTP suite supports test and 2012 and then every version up to now 2019 
and it will be supported uh, because we just rely on this core functionality. Uh, TF and UDP suite doesn't change process model. Uh, we, we support standard process model from Testend, and we just extend it by using um, model plugins. Um, these are tech technology behind it. Um, we took um, a lot of efforts to separate those things. And one, one maybe another good point is that TF, the, the operator interface that you have seen, it, uh, it's just very passive. Uh, it doesn't own test and process. Um, it's just a display. And it can run also on remote machines. It can also show you results from two machines on a single, uh, single screen. So nothing blocks you. And you can actually run UTP suite from sequence editor. If you run it from sequence editor, you will see message pop-ups for product selection, for start, stop, and the messages will be there. But uh, it will be it will it will run in the same way as like it would run in TF. And this is how we propose to work with it. So you develop in in sequence editor, and then you just start TF, and it just works. All right. So uh, again, thank you, Nikita, for this uh, explanation. And uh, so we um, about to come to the end. And uh, so uh, very uh, great to have these questions in the Q&A session. And so with this, we want to say thank you and uh, really get in touch with us. So for further questions, ask for uh, again a, a kind of a live demonstration also on site. Hopefully, after this coronavirus, uh, we did our first customer visits. We want to see and want to present you this. Uh, you are more than welcome to be uh, or to come to our office, see the system live running on our test stations, and we can uh, um, take a, a personal um, yeah, requirement list and bring this into a kind of an application solution. So thank you very much, Nikita, for this great presentation and also this in between live demos and the Q&A session in the end. And uh, so uh, write us an email or give us a call and go to our website also and ask for more uh, information about the UTP suite and surrounding features. So with this, uh, thank you very much. And uh, this is on time. We have 11.10 and uh, thank you for your time and for your interest and keep in touch. I wish you all a good day and stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.